All right, what's up, Dragon Brood? It's been a minute since I've done a fun, I was gonna say food review, but we review all kinds of things. Anybody who follows me for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of gummy candies, like a lot. I generally keep a pile of gummy bears on my desk while I'm working. So I've been seeing these things for a while. I've been seeing like the Facebook ads or whatever, and I finally got my hands on some Smart Sweets, I think is what they call it. Yeah, Smart Sweets. And we got a couple different flavors. So we have just the regular gummy worms, and then these here that are the sour watermelon bites, but they call them sour melon. The, the big thing about these though, is they're supposed to be low in sugar. This one's claiming to only have three grams of sugar per 30 gram servings. And then this one has two grams of sugar. So I don't know if gummy candies taste any good without sugar, though if you've ever read the reviews about the sugarless gummy bears or whatever on Amazon, you kind of know that those aren't good for you. Hopefully these don't have the same effect. And if you know, you know, if you don't, feel free to go uh, look that up on Amazon, the sugar-free Haribo after this video, because it'll, it'll make more sense. Anyway, let's go ahead and crack into these and see if they're any good. So I'm gonna start with these because I like regular gummy worms and stuff more. So I'm gonna put those aside and hopefully those will be better if these first ones are bad. Cracking into these, it does have a resealable package, which is nice. Uh, also, this says it has about 12 pieces and it's five servings per container. I'm trying to say how they measure that. Oh, 30 grams is how they do serving size. That makes way more sense. All right, so 12 pieces. So you're getting about 60 pieces in here is what they're saying. All right, cool. Alrighty, okay, I'm already a little concerned because they don't smell like normal gummy candies. It's like a, not bad. It still smells fruit-ish, but very, I'm a, I don't know. It's like when you smell like a diet thing that's light on sugar, it has a little bit of a chemically scent, chemical scent. You know what I'm saying, right? That's a, hmm, I don't know. All right. They do have two different color ones. I don't know if they taste the same or not, but there's a green one and a pink one. Uh, so I will taste them individually and then I will taste them together. So let's have the green one first. Oh, very chewy gummies. These aren't like, a, if you have a Haribo, these are closer to like a, I think you'd call them the gumdrop textures, the the dots or whatever you get, you know, the Halloween can you get that's like the, looks like the dome shaped bell or whatever and has like the sugar on the outside. It's kind of like that. It's that type, just a little bit tougher, a little stiffer, I guess. Well, it tasted good. It tasted like a lime-ish flavor. You know, okay, let me say this. They're not bad. I've had to give them just an overall rating. This bag of flavors, probably like a seven, seven and a half. Like solid for what it is. But I think the reason I'm willing to give it a few more, another half point maybe, is that it doesn't actually taste like it's low sugar. I'm a little surprised by that. Like it tastes almost like if you have a light earth sugar Kool-Aid is the best way I can describe it. Like, you know, like if you have the sugary Kool-Aid the way you normally would make it when you're like 12, that has a flavor, right? But then you get somebody who puts like a half cup of sugar in, in the two quart thing or whatever, and you're like, okay, it still tastes like Kool-Aid, but just less sweet. That's kind of what's going on here. But there's not a real aftertaste or anything, which is kind of surprising me, because I expect there would be. But yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm not gonna lie. Like this, this might be, that might be a seven and a half or an eight as far as like a gum. I give it a seven and a half. I think that's strong. All right, let's open up these other ones. And these are supposed to be just gummy worms. Let's see how these smell by comparison. Okay, these smell not chemically. I would just say fake, whereas the others at least smelled a little bit more like fruit, but maybe because that's what they were going for too, right? It's sour melon, whatever that makes sense. All right, it doesn't smell bad. It just doesn't smell like much, to be honest. So these just come in, well, I guess what we'll call just gummy worm colors, you know, two-tone and plain. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we'll just eat one of the regular ones first. I guess there technically is a little bit of extra color there. Okay, again, we're on the stiffer side of, of gummy candy. Still chewable, but yeah, if you like, this is more of the Haribo texture of, of gummy, where it's, you can chew it, but there is some stiffness and some, some bite to it. Whereas the others, I would I would call more dense and then maybe maybe less dense, more tacky I guess when you're chewing it. Whereas these are just more stiff, like the Haribo gummies compared to other brands. This is interesting. I actually like the gummy worms less, even though they technically have 
more sugar, but mostly because it just tastes less. I mean, like, I don't, that's my only gripe. Like, the texture's fine. What little flavor there is there is fine. It's not off putting or anything. I don't know. I guess I just get used to eating so many gummies that have like this packed in fruit flavor or whatever else, but this just doesn't have that. I will still eat them. They're not bad. I, I'm not going to let them go to waste, but they just don't taste of much. Yeah, there you go. Uh, smart sweets. These are actually both fine. I Though I think these were better. The, the sour melon, I would rate probably like I said, a seven and a half. These, they're fine. They're like a five and a half or a six. Like, I think if you were looking for something to give your kids that was lower in sugar, but they would still be happy they got candy or whatever, I think these do check those boxes very well. I think if you're on a diet and you're just trying to cut sugar out, but you like gummies, I think these fit that as well because they're just low in sugar, which keeps you from having to cut out your favorite candies or gummy candies, but you can still, you know, enjoy some stuff here. So yeah, good stuff all around. And if you enjoyed this and you're looking for some reviews on some different candies, check out this one where I reviewed some high-end chocolate against Mr. Beast chocolate.